Pepe Coin, the ultimate guide to understanding and investing the meme crypto sensation. Pepe recently got listed on Binance, guys. Just absolutely massive news. And now it's being recognized by CoinMarketCap as a top 50 crypto. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach. If it's your first time dropping in, wow, this has been an amazing run for the Pepe Coin in the last three weeks. In this video, I want to give you my thoughts on taking profits, my thoughts on getting in, getting out of Pepe, where to buy, where to sell it, and essentially basically how to take advantage of this craze right now without necessarily breaking the bank. So appreciate all of you guys coming back in here. So, so glad to have so many people coming back to the channel. We gained a ton of new subscribers today on the live stream. We went on a live stream today for five plus hours. I let the stream go for an additional two. Shout out to everybody who made it. And I got to take my gum out. If you weren't able to make it, check it out. It's up on the channel now. Uh, would happy, would be happy to kind of have you, you know, check out the replay, man. It was, it was just awesome. It was so fun. But let's dive in. The ultimate guide to understanding and investing in Pepe. So right now we are basically kind of trying to find ourselves after this Binance listing, okay? Now, first off, I'm going to say, if you're not yet in Pepe, here's what I would be thinking about, okay? And again, don't do exactly what I do. I'm just giving you ideas, things to think about. Number one, if I'm not in Pepe yet and I still want to invest, first question I got to ask myself is, how much do I want to put in this asset eventually? If that number, let's say, is 500, I would not be putting the lump sum 500 into Pepe right now. I would be what's called dollar cost averaging because we're going to see a lot of price fluctuation right now. We might even see some pullbacks along the way. And instead of putting it all in at once, I would like to DCA. So maybe I put $100 in there, $200 in there now, then sit back and see where the price kind of plays out. And maybe have price points that you like, right? So right down in here, it bounced off the 3-0 level a couple different times. Maybe that 3-0 level is your second entry point to put an additional 300 in, right? For example. Now, if you're looking to simply trade this thing on a day-to-day -day basis, you can do that as well. And when you're trading Pepe on a daily time frame, you know, there's some great platforms out there. Uh, Bybit is one of those. My link's down below in the description. If you're interested in that, that's where I'm trading. But also getting an indicator, something like I have right now, which, by the way, is not for sale yet, but uh, hint, hint, I will be putting the indicator that I'm using out there uh, for everybody to use in the coming weeks, maybe months. We'll just depend on when I get the website live and everything like that. But essentially, have a plan when you're day trading this because the volatility is great for day trading. But if you're just looking to swing trade, maybe dollar cost averaging, right? Now, in terms of where to buy Pepe, well, now it's listed virtually everywhere, right? If you want to be the safest on the centralized exchange side of things, it's going to be Binance. And Binance has already listed it. Look at the volume already, literally just listed today, guys. $100 million of volume today. That is absolutely insane coming through USDT. And if we search it by uh, sorted by volume, OKX, which just listed it you know, recently, 619 million of volume right there. So I would be looking at some of the top exchanges like OKX, like Gate, like Mexi, and of course, Binance. It won't be long until Binance is number one on this list. Uh, Binance, number one by volume. If I'm looking at a centralized exchange, it's probably going to be Binance. If I'm looking at the deck side, obviously you've got Uniswap here. And this is where a lot of people trade their ERC-20 tokens. Now, something to keep in mind when you're going you know, back and forth, if I want to use a centralized exchange versus a DEX, is what are the gas fees? Because we saw today gas fees essentially coming up to $150 to make a transaction, which you know normally it's good to trade on the DEX. It's even cheaper, uh, and you own those assets, of course. But today, wow, it was insane, right? I mean, talking about $150, what if you're only investing $100, right? So keep that in mind too. Check out where the gas fees are before you're diving into these, right? So again, right now, we're watching Pepe. Uh, it had an obvious explosion here all the way up to the 4.5, actually the 4.8 level where it spiked. And uh, we're watching kind of where it's going to level off from here. This is the daily candles here, just absolutely insane. Uh, oh, these are three-day candles, actually. That's pretty nuts. Here, here, let's try the one day. There's the one day. So eventually, this thing is going to level off again. I am personally, you know, maybe not necessarily done investing in Pepe, but I want to kind of wait and see when this thing at least shows some type of consolidation like it did right here, 
right? This would be good. Just even this right here. See these three days of consolidation? I got in down in here during this consolidation. I want to see some sideways action, right? I want to wait to just see where the price kind of, you know, flat lines out a little bit. But here's what we do know. Pepe is here to stay, guys. Rank number 42 right now. Actually, rank number 40 as, it climbing, as it's climbing up right now. And uh, it was been as high end as the number 38 on the big board, which is absolutely bananas, right? It's going to be something to watch. It has passed up the likes of Algorand and Phantom in the graph. It's right behind Quant and ApeCoin and VeChain. This is going to be a cryptocurrency to watch for the rest of the year. This thing has taken the space by storm. I am so much looking forward to see what happens next with Pepe. I'm going to be watching it on the one-minute candles for a while here this weekend and uh, enjoying the ride, that is for sure. Now, if you're already invested in Pepe, let's say you put in $1,000 and you're up 10000 This is where it gets tough, right? Because you have to be real with yourself and say, okay, let's say you haven't taken any profits out. If I'm 10X right now, I'm at least getting my initial out. I am at least, personally, if I put 1000 in up 10000 I'm getting 1500 out. Why 1500 At least. That is my initial investment plus $500. I basically say here today, I'm taking $1,500 out. No matter what, I have won the trade. I have won the trade. I am a winner when it comes to Pepe, no matter what happens. Then from there, have market cap uh, you know, troughs where you're going to take profits, whether that's $2 billion market cap, maybe it's a $1.7 billion market. Have a plan where you're going to take the next bit of profits, having a market cap, uh, or a level, a price level, and stick to it. Emotional investors usually always get wrecked. Don't be an emotional investor. Stick to your fundamentals, have a plan, and just stick to it, right? But you have to have that plan in the first place. Hopefully all of this helps. It's been an unbelievable day. This has been the ultimate guide to understanding and investing in Pepe coin and in meme coins in particular. They are crazy. They are a crazy bunch, but uh, man, they have inked a lot of millionaires in the past three years. And uh, congratulations to everybody, even if you weren't, even if you haven't become a millionaire. Congratulations to anyone who's making money, who has a plan set in place. Subscribe for more content, as you can see up there. That link right up there. Subscribe for more content. Link down below. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video.